Hey guys, Jess from Knockout Print Shop, and today I have for you my March reverse plan with me. So this is the video where I go through my month's worth of spreads and kind of show you how I use my planner, my stickers, and all of that stuff versus going through a plan with me that tends to stress me out. So I'm going to kind of bypass the mission board because I talk more about this in my reflection I do each month. So let's get right into week one. Oh, we'll look at the monthly and then we'll get into week one. So my monthly is the cluster that if you've watched these videos before, you're like, oh my God, she basically just has pictures of little plants all over her planner. So one of the main things I use my monthly for is for the watering schedule of all of my plants. This is getting a little bit out of control because I have so many plants. I love my plants. So I'm actually thinking of kind of creating an insert for myself so that I don't have my more business related things mixed with this crazy plant lady stuff. So if you like plants, we have these. So the other thing I used this year or this year, this month in here is I still use my little um, striped flags to mark down my online coaching clients, kind of where they are in their program and when they paid so that I stay on top of when I need to create new training programs for them. So that's what those are for. Still using my little contact icon and my monthly view to make sure I stay you know, on top of changing my contacts when I'm supposed to. And then we'll kind of get into the other stuff. So I did use our new dividable washi quite a bit here. I used it for denoting when we had sales in the shop. So you can see here, and then I would just use two of the arrow ones pointing towards each other and then the blank one to write down the details of the sale. I did that same thing here when we gave away the freebie. And then I did it here at the bottom for our week long spring sale. So again, just kind of putting the arrows pointing towards like the most middle section and then writing the details on the blank one. So that's how I'm liking using those um, dividable washi strips. Last month I used the clear dots. Um, I think they both have their pros and cons, but this did work for me with marking off sales. The other thing I marked off with our dividable washi was our road trip to Tennessee. Obviously when you have months that have 31 days and you have this weird little diagonal, this doesn't look so hot, but I could have just left it and it wouldn't have mattered, but I did it anyways. So I used that there. I did use our regular month labels. You can see that here to write down what batch release was each of the Fridays of the particular launches. Um, and then I also used a lot of our mini um, post-it note guys. So I used one to denote like when I was gonna send out the March newsletter. And then I used one to write when I was gonna start my new training program. And then I used one to write when we were going to leave for Tennessee. I had this guy already down before we had these dividable washi, so I probably in the future wouldn't use both of these for the same thing. I used some teardrops uh, here at the corners to mark when I like made my sauerkraut, when to check my sauerkraut, and the same with my kombucha. So that worked out well using those for those particular things. And then I just covered the first day of spring with our little spring guy from the uh, spring sampler. And then I just used a blank dividable washi to denote the sale we had on the financial collection for that day. So that's kind of how I used things in the month of March in my monthly view. I do write some notes um, on the monthly note section. Like I'll write a little list here of the stuff I want to remember to put in a newsletter. Um, if there's something like I know is coming up in a month, I'll put it here and then transfer it to the actual calendar once I get to that month. But I don't use my month a ton. Oh, I used this for the clearance sale as well. So most of it's just to denote like sales, um, when we're releasing collections and, you know, monthly kind of things like that. Let's get into week one. So week one, I did love these colors together. So it's the kind of pink accent color that we came up with. We know it's not actually one of the colors here in the palette, but it is a complimentary color to the palette and then the darker of the kind of bluish grays. So I alternated those two, I used bubble headers. In this layout, I went with the top three and the to-do as my two different sections. This worked out pretty well for me. I did like this spread, put my little contact guy up here. So when I like go through my, how I'm gonna do each week, I always refer back to my month and then I'm like, okay, need to put a contact guy there and that's kind of how I do that. Um, so I went with my top three. I alternated between using three heart checklists and um, mini hexagons to mark off the tasks. I love three heart check boxes, but sometimes I write too big and I like having the ability to use two lines for one task. So that's kind of why I played around with alternating it. Um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, our tasks are pretty automated and standard. It's, you know, 
fill orders, da, 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 stuff like that. So these are better. And then on Tuesdays and Thursdays tend to be a little more um, design, marketing, different things and stuff like that. So I like to sometimes have more space to write each of the top three tasks. Um, so that's how I use that. I use the hexagon dollar sign to do like just you note know, a money task. I did like using the little alarm clock icon as a way to remember to myself to like schedule Instagram posts. Um, you can see I've been using, and I use this throughout the month, just the hand drawn boxes around tasks. This really helps me kind of take a big chunk of a day and dedicate it towards a task so I don't think I need to fill up every single line and over try to overdo too many things. You know what I'm saying? Um, I use a little cell phone. I kind of remind myself to text a few people, kind of made a list there. And then throughout the month, I used our clear, or sorry, our transparent um, like highlight strips to note when I had to do some online coaching stuff. So each thing here, I'd write physically on the planner and then cover it with one of the clear strips or the transparent strips to note, like the highlight, those are my coaching tasks. Um, I used the little computer a ton for a variety of different tasks. Um, anytime I was doing work on a design, um, when we were doing all our inventory uh, counting, when I was working on InDesign and learning that. So I use this a lot to just kind of show tasks that are computer oriented, that are just kind of general, it doesn't need a certain specific icon. Um, use the video camera all the time for when I'm filming videos. I use the little bullet journal exclamation point to remind myself to set up our clearance section. I like layering quarter boxes with teardrops to kind of write what the task is or appointment in the box and then writing the time on the teardrop. So I use that there for a certain thing. Again, just highlighting a task. Um, down here in my daily boxes, I decided to use the post-it notes for when I was doing my French press practice. Um, again, you can see down here, kind of my to-do list just ran into my daily boxes. There's another InDesign thing. I did mark down workouts here with the kettlebell, my typical meal plan and grocery shopping icons. Used our weekly dividable washi, uh, just to test it out, just putting a task there, kitchen-related task, plants, walking dead, plants, chore. Um, again, this took a long time, so I kind of just boxed this task out. And I actually decided to use a exclamation point bullet journal thing here to remind myself to do something next week. So when that way, when I was planning the next week and I always flip back to the week prior and I saw that I was like, oh yeah, that needs to get done the next week. Um, my usual kind of lunch date, brunch date here, I used a hexagon with the lunch date sticker um, layered. I always use my time to plan. Marking down, we had to make a pickup at a farmer's market. Um, I meant to put our new little hiking sticker here because Matt and I went for a hike together. We went out to coffee, so I used the coffee guy. Just some home tasks that I had to do. And then I've been continuing to use the grid sidebars to write highlights of the week and then just kind of a this week running list there. That's something that wasn't particular to a certain day. Then we get into week two. This one I use kind of a monochrome of the like blue, lighter bluish gray from the Blue Ridge palette. And instead of doing top three, I did a priority header here and then to-do list with a weekend um, banner. Same concept, you know, using the video cameras to film, using the cam uh, computer for tasks. For this one, I use the video camera to film and then I made an, a checklist here with mini hexes based on the tasks that go with that, like editing, uploading, stuff like that. So this came, became like a whole entire YouTube section. Um, again, you can see the use of the computers there for different computer-based tasks, updating listings, um, different work. Obviously, photos there and a running list of which photos we needed to take. You can see here on this day, this week, I used the same color just to highlight my coaching tasks with those transparent strips. I used a half box and layered it with our car icon. We had to go for an oil change. Then we had a little coffee date, so I put that there. Um, the priorities, I just used a mini hex and then marked it off. And then our priority on Thursday is kind of, Thursday's kind of our home chore day. So I decided to put the priority of grocery shopping up there versus down here where I usually put it. Um, what else do we have? I used these skinny labels for some kitchen tasks, make our kombucha, make my dough, bake my bread, and checked it off in the left side. I used our shipping boxes to mark when certain things that I had ordered were coming in. Lots of order stuff that I bought that week. Um, I used the teardrops for my French practice. You see some chore stuff down here. 
um, on this side. Again, just use the quarter box for when we launched our batch 23. Again, use the alarm clock for scheduling Instagram posts. I had a call with my graphic designer, texting clients, sending out emails. I turned a half box sideways actually to for our clean the house to kind of just say this takes up more time. I don't know, I thought it was clever. I should have layered this with an icon or something. Did laundry that day. Uh, we went and washed our car. Again, you have the highlights of the week and this week. And then I just kind of created a note section here, which I probably shouldn't have put this and just wrote notes there. Um, but that was my monochrome week. And then we get to this week, which was last week, um, which is my favorite colors of the whole entire thing, which is the yellow and the gray. This was our road trip to Tennessee. So here I did the top three and then this, used washi from the spring sampler to just kind of create division between top three and the rest of the to-do list. I used heart check boxes for the top three here. Um, love our weekend banner from that sampler, put that there. There was really no top three on Friday, Thursday and Friday. So you can see I wrote, get up, drive to TN, have fun. And then apartment hunting. And then here was just kind of the standard thing. Again, Instagram post, work on the computer with the computer, um, use the gray transparency stickers for coaching stuff. Here I started to use our new um, stopwatch sticker to write down our workouts. Matt had a haircut that day, so I write that down. I like to do that because obviously him and I work together, so I need to know if either of us is gonna be out of the house so we can base our work day around what each of us has going on. This was basically used as a, the whole entire day we had to work on inserts. It ended up taking way longer than we thought to make our new inserts. Um, layered a hexagon with the phone for a coaching call I had with my online coaching client. Used the little post-it guys for packing for a trip. These are so functional, I use these all the time. Took up a bunch of space here for the Hello Spring sticker because I knew this was just prepping for our trip and finishing up orders before we left, so I didn't have much going on that day. Use the watering can from watering plants. Obviously, you always have my meal plan and grocery shopping. Time to plan, walking dead. And again, I use the weekly dividable washi for our trip. Um, just kind of decoratively put a few things here. There's my contact one and then our highlights. So that is that. And last but not least, we have this week. So on this week, I have my inserts here because I'm currently in this week. So then I use the same color scheme that I used week one, but I just flipped it. So instead of the pink, then the, the blue, I did the blue and the pink, and then used classic headers instead of bubble headers. And this day, so it looks like I unintentionally alternated. It was like top three in to-dos, priority in to-dos, top three in to-dos, and then priority in to-dos. I'm not sure which one I like better. Um, I used the stripe mini hexes to write the tasks in there. And then I didn't do any boxes so far this week but I just have each task denoted with an icon. So it's a little different than just a checklist, like a mini hack. So I have this one to remind me to pay myself, the email one for emails or the envelope one, just a reminder to send somebody something, the little double arrows, cause it was just kind of a task I wanted to bring attention to, filming this video here and then using the pink uh, strips for coaching stuff. Rent is due, so I use my bill due. That's the only bill we manually pay that's not automated. So I like to put one of these down for that. I used my um, striped flags for my French practice this week. You can see that here in the bottom in the daily boxes. Um, I again used our new stopwatch uh, whistle little interval training ones for my workouts down there. Shipping box for my sh new shoes are going to arrive. My usual meal plan and grocery shopping. And let's flip here and see what else we got. Uh, this week kind of running list. It's again, things I need to get done by the end of the week that aren't specific to a day. My highlight section week isn't over yet, so I haven't put anything there. Um, I used a post-it note for the batched launch and then a little envelope for remembering that I need to um, finalize and schedule our April newsletter. Use the big post-it note for Matt and I's brunch date. I always use my time to plan. I always use the walking dead end of the month. So I have my monthly budget sticker there. Use just like a, you know, a banner, weekend banner. Um, and then I took a geometric pattern half box for clean the house. My parents are coming next week to visit and we're having a little beach vacation. So I don't know if we're gonna do it Friday or Saturday. I know we need to clean the house and I couldn't find my little house icon cause I was gonna layer that there, but I just kind of tried going between two days of the week to put that sticker. So that is the last week. And then just to show you really quick, I always use my vertical um, monthly habit, habit tracker thing not making any sense. Um, I use, because 
for French, I schedule it four days a week, so I use the outline ones to mark off the days I'm gonna do it and fill it in when I do it with the mini hexes. Since we were gone in Tennessee, I didn't worry about my French those days, so I just kind of put a line through it to remind myself of that. Um, this one's just kind of random three days a week, so those are just the solid hexagons. Same with this one, these are just the solid hexagons. You can see I didn't do it great every single day, but I use this one and transfer it every week. This is my crazy, messy, crappy daily insert. Um, I'm still in the process of making something that looks like this for you guys, That because I, I think people have said they like this idea. So this is my daily tasks, and literally what I did, why this looks like a complete cluster, is instead of making this over every single week, I like started the first week with an X every time I did it, and then I transferred it to the next week and then put a line, and then last week I scribbled it out. So this looks like a cluster, you guys, but I'm trying to come up with a way that this sheet can be transferred every week versus having to have a new sheet every week. I don't know if it's possible. I formatted something and it was just microscopic and didn't work because there's obviously to have 30 days going across here would be kind of long. I don't know. but. In lieu of taking the time to make this little chart by hand every week, I just kind of made a mess. Um, I just write some notes and different things on here. And then this is our weekly batch insert. This is obviously not something we sell because it's specific to us, but this is how I go through and make sure we do every single task that's involved in a release. Um, and that just carries over each week so I can keep track of that stuff. So that is what March looked like. You can see, I'll just flip through the color schemes one more time. I know these videos are kind of long because um, I'm talking through a lot of how we, or sorry, how we, how I use my planner. Um, but this is a little bit easier for me than doing a live in like real plan with me, like in the moment. It, that kind of stresses me out. So, um, I try to talk kind of fast, but again, it is a lot to go over. Let me know if you guys are still liking these videos. If you have any ideas for different formats, that might be more condensed, so it's not quite as long, but still equally as effective. Um, yeah, I hope you guys had a good March, and I'll be filming my reflection video for you guys as well, so look out for that, and I'll see you in the next one.